I would like to start with a personal story. Um, it was 1995, and I was um, I was a very young scientist. I finished the university in Athens, finishing uh, chemistry, and the only dream I had was to be a basketball player. I, I, I wanted to be a point guard. You know, I was not very big, uh, but I thought I was smart. So then it was a period that I remember my father came home and says, "I am sick. I have a very serious uh, heart disease related to diabetes," and this actually changed my life. Then I realized later that two of his brothers died very early on. So for me, it was like, like a call, I have to do something about it. And, and uh, what leads me to date, a few many years later, I have to stop my dream of playing basketball. Maybe it's not a bad thing anyways, but, um, but then in this case, I had the chance to work today with very talented people for a long period of time to develop some membranes and filters. So this is uh, the filter we would like to develop is a filter that combines filtration and adsorption in one membrane. So we had before, even in the movie, that we want to use diffusion, so uh, small toxins go across the pores and they move on the alizate side. What we try to introduce here, we introduce an extra layer of adsorption. That's why you see the membrane is black and white, because it contains an extra layer. And this extra layer of adsorption can achieve higher removal in a shorter period of time. And then we hope that if we can do it, we use less amount of water. So we can have a system that can be used in a... Uh, portable system. So here is, the, we call it the M3 dialyzer, mixed matrix membrane dialyzer. So here you see the, the blood going through the bore of the fiber, and uh, on the outside you have the dialysate. And in, during this concept, especially the difficult to remove toxins, the protein bound toxins, which hardly removed by dialysis, when they are dissociated and absorbed by the particles, because of this adsorption, we have high concentration gradient across the membrane and higher removal. The particles are highly porous, and they can absorb these toxins. Another important thing is, in case your dialysate solution contains contaminants, or the quality is not very good, then the sorbent particles <laughs> block the contaminants to reach the patient on the other side. So you can combine filtration from one side and protecting the patient from the other side from quality of water. So you could argue, in this case, you can use it less quality of water in a home setting and much, uh, much, much better. So what we, would like to, what we would like to achieve here is we would like to consider replacing the current filters. You can see in the dialysis or in the fine portable system that's been developed with this type of dialyzer. But because it's a platform technology, you could argue you can use specific sorbents that they can be used in a regeneration unit for the urea regeneration. So then in this case, you can combine the system with filtration and adsorption. So what we actually have is, it's a, it's a big collaboration of various partners and very long time. One of the things that is very important to, re to realize is that um, in order to be able to bring it to the market, you need also companies. You need also the big dialyzer companies to invest and help you doing there. One of the elements that we are investing very much is uh, internally to create our own spin-off company, which take it as one step further, try to be in close to the market. And of course, is, is a process which takes many years. So then in this case, you need all the partners together working very closely in order to achieve this goal. So now, uh, one thing that for people that they play basketball is, in my opinion, one, why it was one of the best sports ever is because all the five they need to play defense and all the five need to play offense together. If, it does, if one of them is slipping, then the whole system doesn't work together. So you need to work together. And I think this is a great example, how can we play basketball together? I stopped in 1995, but maybe 30 years later, it is my chance to be the point guard I was always wanted to be. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>